So I moved to France at the age of 16. When you're mixed race, you're just seen as mixed race. You're called Métis. And uh, yeah, people just refer to me as Métis all the time. And it's for the first time I feel like, cool, thank you for acknowledging that I'm black and white, you know? It's a great feeling. Here in France, it's not like a generality, like if you're mixed, you're seen more as black, like in America, or you're seen more as white, like in Nigeria. It's just, it depends on you, you know, it depends on your story, it depends on, you know, who you hang out more with, and sometimes you're just seen as mixed because you, 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 but race is not as defining here in France as it is in America, for example, you know? So for the first time, I felt like I could just be myself. But one thing I do have to say about being mixed race is that I don't feel like I fit in anywhere, basically. So I can be chilling with Nigerians, and it's like I always have to prove myself like how much of a Nigerian I am and the more I prove that I'm Nigerian the more I'll be accepted in the community so if I can dance like a Nigerian if I can speak broken English or you know if I can cook Nigerian food you know it's like the more of those things you can do the more accepted you'll be in the community which I guess makes sense because that's what a community is it's a group of values it's a group of things that make you part of that community basically. I guess that lack of being part of a community also plays a big role in why I'm such a an introvert, such a solitary person, somebody who's just okay with being alone and I guess that my whole story of not fitting in or trying to fit in or, or having to push away one side of who I am to be accepted by people all that is just so tiring and I guess that me personally, I'm okay with being by myself and being who I am 100% rather than having to conform to a group to fit in. Everybody's identity is built on their experiences, you know? Everybody's experience is so different. Why do we need to put people in boxes? Are our minds so small that we can't comprehend that people can be so much more complex than the color of their skin? Are we that small-minded that we need things to be either black or white for us to be happy? Just look at me as me. If you want to get to know me, listen to my story. Anything that's hashtag light skin, hash like anybody who feels better for being light-skinned. It's something that annoys me to the core. People who tell me that they want light-skinned babies, to me, it's just you have a problem with yourself. You have this inferiority complex or you have this very superficial way of looking at the world. I can't stand ego in general, so be, be having an ego for something that you were just randomly given, that you were just born with, it's just even worse to me and I'm not gonna lie I have seen so many light-skinned people so many mixed-race people put so much value in the color of their skin as well like you see it you just see them like sometimes they walk in a room and it's like you, you can just tell that they think they're better than everybody and like that's the most annoying thing ever because then people treat me like I think the same way this is how I see things you were born with the color of your skin. It's not something you earned, you know, it's just you were born with, it's so random. So placing value on the color of somebody's skin is so stupid because it doesn't mean anything about that person. One thing I've learned from my journey in this life, in the short life I have lived on earth, is that um, people are always going to put you in boxes no matter what based on what they see. People see a pretty girl and think she's stupid. People see light-skinned girl and think she's full of herself. When you meet a person, try and understand them as an individual and you know, okay, yeah, their community does play a big part on who they are and it could also help you understand that person. But you also have to understand that a person is so much more than their community as well. Their, their experiences, their travels, relationships they've had have also made them who they are. Your religion, their their beliefs, you know, their, their values. You need to try and be more open-minded.